We're back. We're back. Guys, we are back. Walk, San Francisco, Walgreens, Walgreens, Walgreens. I know for a very long time, people that actually are residents of San Francisco, not what I mean, but I actually took a trip to L.A., but I did not go to San Francisco. I went to Santa Monica and also downtown L.A. And, however, one thing about L.A., when pretty much L.A. and also pretty much the California area, especially San Francisco, they have a high number of death. But this doesn't surprise you guys when it comes to Walgreens. Walgreens is trying to find a way to stop allowing, pretty much stop allowing people to steal. So you know what they did? They went ahead and chained up, started chaining things up. You think it's going to stop people from stealing? Well, let's take a look at this new report. It didn't take long. Within the first hour of being at Walgreens on Geary Boulevard and 17th Avenue in San Francisco, we witnessed multiple shoplifters. One of them even took the time to explain why he simply didn't pay. Off camera, a Walgreens employee told me they're hit anywhere between 15 to 20 times a day. Out of frustration, a week and a half ago, they decided to chain up their freezer section. This is one of the hardest hit areas in their store. Now, when you want something, you have to press this button. A message goes off on the overhead speaker, and an employee comes to unlock the freezer. According to the employee we spoke to, company policy says they can't challenge shoplifters, but this customer has. Sometimes I've stopped people myself, and uh, it just frustrates me so much to see the neighborhood fall apart and to have to ask somebody to, you know, unlock things. Almost every aisle has products locked behind plastic cases. We asked what the brown marks were. Turns out shoplifters have tried to burn the cases. This vendor saw four shoplifters in the couple of hours he was working at the store today. They just help themselves. It's a common thing. The problem is they're not punished. SFPD's Sergeant Omar was on foot patrol outside the store. It's getting worse, yeah, because more and more people are coming into the west side of the city on the 38 bus line, they're getting off and they're, you know, they're basically stealing out of this store. He did not want his face on camera, but said he detained eight people shot. Now, I'm not going to play the whole thing. You guys can actually see the whole thing in its entirety. Just pretty much research about pretty much what's going on with Walgreens and the aspect of how the death rate is getting totally, totally out of control. And the whole point is because California have now passed a little law which a lot of people they still up to I think five to one thousand dollars and then it'll be pretty much charged as grand theft. So people are taking advantage of that. So Walgreens are now doing this putting change on their doors and now you gotta ask for help as you see on the news report to get assistance. Would this make a difference? Not really. People gonna continue to still because a lot of people understand the California laws, especially when it comes to the aspect of San Francisco. Now Walgreens has been lately been shot a lot of doors in a lot of areas in San Francisco because of the simple fact of how the theft has skyrocketed. Now, this could ha this can only happen because of pretty much the law they have passed. When now the best thing for them to do is, to be honest with you, is to have more security guards, create more jobs to have more people to pretty much watch people on every hour. On every hour, I think Walgreens has enough resources and I think they have enough fun to do so. But to be honest with you, this is not going to make no difference. People are going to continue to do whatever they're going to do. But if they get that high security that people watch on every corner, it will bring down the rate and people will start stealing. Especially for the city of San Francisco. Because people don't understand, at the end of the day, you're not really hurting the company. Because the company is just going to shrink it. They're going to just have it at unknown shrink and take a loss later. And it's still going to get a tax write-off. So people don't understand that aspect of it. At the end of the day, you're hurting yourself because at the same time, when you need your medicine or when you need to go get something, it's no longer going to be on the shelf. And now you got to go somewhere else to find it from another community to get what you actually need because the simple fact is Walgreens that have not closed their doors because of the high because of the high rate of death. People don't think. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. with Ever since after the pandemic, people are really losing their mind. And that's why it's so, it's so very important to make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe to KL Culture Radio. Remember, the link is pinned on top of my chat in my community tab. Also, my bio. We do go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern time with my good man, Prince Hakeem, and my good man, the Jordan Era. 
hope to catch you on one of the live stream. We on our road. We on our way to 1K subscribers on the Care Culture Radio page. With your help, we will reach that goal. Shout out to all the new listeners. Shout out to all the new watchers, man. I really do greatly appreciate you guys when you subscribe to the channel. It's really, really appreciated. Talk to you guys later. Peace.